Pakistan is observing National Defense Day to pay tribute to its armed forces for safeguarding Pakistan's sovereignty in the 1965 war. Now, we are joined by defense analyst, retired Lieutenant General Amjad Shweb. Mr. Shweb, thank you very much for being with us on Indus News. Now, on this day in 1965, even with smaller numbers, Pakistan's armed forces bravely thwarted India's attack. So what do you think were the major causes of the Indian aggression? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. See, right from 1947, uh, we have been noticing that India has never reconciled with the creation of Pakistan. And they've always been finding an opportunity to damage or to dismantle uh, the country which was created. Uh, they, they demonstrated their mentality in 1971 that they very actively aided all the separatists in East Pakistan and then uh, I mean, they're, they're even their prime minister has admitted when, the, when he was visiting East Pakistan or, or Bangladesh a uh, few years ago. So naturally, we, we, we know the Indian plans and we know the Indian mentality. But all these things are connected with, the, uh, as far as Pakistan is concerned, these things are connected with those outstanding disputes which we have with India. And it is the Indian, um, uh, see, in, in, Indian uh, stubbornness that they don't want to resolve these issues. And that is why today they are even stuck up with China. They have a problem with Nepal. They have a problem with Pakistan. Because they, they, they have no intention of resolving these issues. So this will continue and uh, our country will continue facing a threat from the Indians because they, provided they have a feeling that ultimately at one point of time, somewhere in the uh, future, they'll be able to dismantle this country, they'll be able to uh, take this country and ultimately it will be a Khan Bharat, they will have, see this Hindutva philosophy which, they, which is prevailing on India today, it is primarily based on this Hindu supremacy in the entire continent. So that is what one has to keep in mind so that we have a realization for the Indian threat, the kind of threat that we are facing. It is not just a small territorial threat that we are facing that India has uh, an eye on some particular point, no. It is absolutely in totality against the existence of Pakistan, uh, the threat that we are facing from India. Right, and Mr. Amjad, what are the security and stability threats to the region because of New Delhi's continuous cross-border aggression? The strategic balance in the region uh, has been disturbed because of the American intervention and that they have their own strategic plans in the region against China, so they are supporting India. And in that process, they are selling their high-tech uh, weaponry. All sorts of technology is being given to them. Uh, it is for, the, for, for, for India not to take anything or they, they may ultimately turn to Russia. That is their choice, but America is offering everything which they have in the kitty. So the, that, uh, on one hand, there's, a, there's an arms race. Pakistan, because of the weak economy, cannot catch up. That uh, is an issue with us. On the other hand, that kind of technology is not being made available to Pakistan. Americans will never give it to us. So with the passage of time, the strategic balance is tilting in, the, in, in, in India's favor in a drastic manner. And this, that is where this threat is multiplying with every passing day. So we have to be uh, conscious and careful of uh, this threat, which is... And then Indians have also, I think, this fifth generation war, which we have been talking about, Indians has took it very seriously. And they have gone in, into Afghanistan. They have spent a lot of money there. And from there, they have been trying to create internal problem, instability, and uh, terrorism in Pakistan, which uh, means that the country is uh, weakening from inside. You must have heard, and we have been talking about that Pakistan during this uh, war against terror has lost something like about $150 billion of uh, uh, defense forces. They are committed on both the sides on uh, these Western and Eastern borders. So the other aspect which they have unleashed and which is going on is to create uh, misunderstandings between the people of Pakistan and the armed forces by uh, through the social media, by throwing... Uh, some concocted stories, allegations. Modern army can fight a bigger army if they have full support of their own masses, if they have uh, complete assistance
sense, they get complete assistance from every section of their society. Then I think it is always uh, there is always a chance that the smaller army may be able to defend the country against a bigger army. There was so much of unity amongst the people, and there was so much of enthusiasm to support the armed force. 